What do you do when a man asks you to plan a date? Well, a woman wrote about this topic in my Facebook group and it generated a lot of very different opinions. So I thought I would take this opportunity to share my thoughts and I'm going to kind of condense what she wrote. I met a guy on Sunday. He seems put together, stable, and intelligent. It was a very nice connection. And at the end of the date, he asked me whether I wanted to go out again on Saturday. I agreed. And a few days later, he asked whether I had ideas for Saturday's date. He's been busy and didn't have time to think about it or research it. So I agreed to do it. However, a part of me feels that I am entering the pattern of doing all the work. I feel if he really liked me, he would text me and make the plans. I am the anxious type and don't want to self-sabotage with negative thoughts. Am I overthinking due to my past experiences? And has anyone had a positive experience with a guy who didn't initially plan or have check-in texts prior to a date? So there's a bunch of things in here I want to kind of unpack. First of all, he asked her out the first time, planned the first date. So just remember that. This is the second date. He told her he was busy, didn't have any time to plan. Can she think of some ideas? And this woman has a history of taking over, doing too much, and she's afraid she's going to fall into the same pattern. And I'm really glad that she posted this in my Facebook group because this is what the Facebook group is for. When we have these thoughts and they can lead to self-sabotage, it's very easy to just go down that rabbit hole and think, oh, if he really liked me, he would text and make the plans and check in with me and I am going to end up taking over and doing all the work and you know, we spiral out really, really quickly. So that's what I love about having this group and the fact that this woman posted to the group. So let me share my thoughts. What do you do when a man asks you to plan the date? There are two basic schools of thought in dating. Thought number one is men always take the lead. That's a pretty popular thought. And thought number two is that dating is nuanced and there are no black and white rules. Let me know if you are from the school number one, men take the lead, or school number two, dating is nuanced. As you can probably guess, I'm of school number two. So if you are from school number one, that men take the lead, women have to be pursued and chased and made to feel like they are the treasure, you're going to be very passive in dating. You're going to expect men to plan all the dates and pay for every date and do everything they can to court you and win you over. But if you are of this belief, my question for you is, are you passive in the rest of your life? Do you want men to power over you instead of powering with you? Because that's exactly what this type of setup can lead to. Somebody being the one in power, the one who's going to then use that power usually in a relationship. Not all the time. And there are men who like to court and who will insist on courting and doing all the chivalrous things. And that's fine if it isn't a power play. But if you're like me and believe that dating is more nuanced, you're going to expect a fair give and take in dating. And certainly when you get to the relationship stage. But if you enjoy planning, why not plan the dates? Maybe they're not very good at it. And if you don't enjoy planning dates, speak up and let the man know. If you are of school number two, you won't make up a story about what it means when he asks you if you have ideas for what to do on a date, because it could mean so many things. And they're not all about him being too lazy to put effort into planning. That's usually where our brains go. For example, in the case of this woman who wrote the post, the man had planned the first date and he had set a date for the following Saturday. He told her he had a busy week and he asked if she had ideas for the date because he didn't have time to plan. No time to plan doesn't mean I don't care about you enough to plan. That's an interpretation. And she agreed, she said yes, but she's concerned that it's gonna become a pattern where she does all the work if the relationship becomes serious. So here's what's missing when somebody begins to take on the role of overdoing and overgiving. 
those people usually haven't spoken up and stated their desires and their needs and their feelings. What this woman might do is agree to plan this date and ask if he can plan future dates. She can tell him she plans everything in her daily life and she appreciates it so much when men plan. It makes her feel supported or cared for. Insert whatever that feeling is, whatever that need is that's met. But it's not about men have to plan or I will end up doing all the work. So it's more nuanced than most people think about this situation. I don't suggest that you tolerate somebody who treats you like a last minute option, never plans, or somebody who never puts effort into, into planning any dates. I've had clients like that who they were always the last minute Friday afternoon for a Saturday date and not making any plans at all and it didn't feel good. So I encourage those women to speak up and to see how he handled that conversation. Notice how a person shows up for you in dating. Does it feel respectful? Is he fully present on dates or is he distracted? Does he struggle with planning due to ADD or something else? So I want you to give men some grace and know that most men who ask what you'd like to do on a date only wanna make you happy. They wanna know what you would enjoy. So tell them what you like and stop assuming that all men are evil and will be just like your exes. Every man you date is a clean slate. Assume the best, not the worst. Rule him in until he rules himself out and communicate what you want and need because that's the best path towards your last first date. Mm -hmm.